Okay, so finally we're going to look at how we can encrypt the database so you wouldn't accidentally expose your data to, <clears throat> to somebody who shouldn't be uh, having access to your data. So to do that, first of all, you need to close your uh, database. All right, so I have it closed. Um, then go to File, click on Open, and then on the Browse. So here, here's a database, and you can click on it once just to select the name. But then do, instead of clicking on just Open, click on Open Exclusive. All right, it's going to open your database. And then you need to, once it's open, you need to go back to the uh, to the file and click on uh, encrypt with password. So I'm going to select um, select a simple password, uh, one, two, three. I'm not going to, uh, th again, this is just for demonstration purposes. Uh, in fact, I'm not going to even uh, click OK here. Um, uh, but just for your information, always use the password that are, uh, you know, that is a combination of, uh, uh, first of all, it's alphanumeric uh, with special characters, uh, you know, certain amount of, uh, certain minimum amount of characters, and that uses both upper and lower case, all right? Um, so make it uh, more complicated to guess. Never, you, you would be surprised how many, um, there was a um, cybersecurity report recently that said that, that there's so many passwords out there that still that are still uh, password is basically password or password one two three or dates of birth. Uh, trust me, those those are patterns. People like to think in patterns, and hackers know that. So do not use anything simple. But this is how you would encrypt the um, encrypt the data. Um, Encrypting with the block cipher is incompatible with the rule of locking. Rule of locking is ignored. That's fine. All right. So if we would decide to um, reopen that database. Let me just use uh, recent. It will prompt me for the password. So until I'm going to enter it, it won't let me get it. All right. Um, that's all I had for this session. Uh, I look forward for your submissions.